Alrighty, welcome everybody. Today we are going to be covering the topic of the Libra Super Full Moon that is happening March 28th. And that is just following about a week after the Sun entering Aries along with Venus. So we have the Full Moon happening at 8 degrees around 8 minutes. And the Full Moon, well, the Moon enters Libra on the same day at 1.22 a.m. and then it becomes fully illuminated by the sun at 2.48 p.m. So the sun in Aries that is there with Chiron the wounded healer, Venus the planet of love and beauty and feminine, and so we have the sun, Chiron, Venus all conjunct in the first sign of the zodiac where it is supercharging this full moon, illuminating, shining its light over onto this Libra super full moon where many of us are wanting justice, we're wanting balance. Libra's representative of, well, let's go this way. Aries is self, the seventh house Libra is about relationships. And so the tides, of the ebbs and the flows of the moon with this full moon because it is so close to the earth that is what makes it a super full moon we could have um, seismic activity and there could be a huge influence over the tides and so what that means on our inner is a big push-pull on our emotions and so keep that in mind. So this is a very deep, influential, super full moon where we are wanting more justice. We're wanting more balance, more harmony. And so the Libra energy, this energy is diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships. Seventh house, again, this is the area of life that is about long-term, significant partners, romantic, business, or family. So, at the time of this full moon, again, we have the Chiron energy there, which is the wounded healer. We have the Venus, the planet of the goddess of love, beauty, values. And we also have, the did I say Chiron? And the sun, of course. So that is all illuminating shining its light over on the receptive moon in Libra where we're wanting more justice, where we're wanting more balance, and we're really being called for a, sus a sustenance of social justice and equality. The North Node in Gemini with Mars is squaring up to Saturn, I do believe, at this time. And then, where's Mercury? Mercury's also still in Pisces. So, communication is very important, could be very deep. There could be an illumination of perhaps a relationship in your life that no longer works. And on the opposing of that, you could be coming in more harmony um, with more soul tribe, more relationships that are gifting and nurturing instead of karmic. A lot of us are healing that Chiron energy, the wounded healer rising, because we're in our Chiron return. If you have Chiron in Aries, um, where we are really on an individual level healing that wound so that we can be more in harmony. And we're seeing this energy manifest by the feminine rising. And so I find that pretty cool. So let's think. Libra is one of the signs of law. And so is Sagittarius. So we have this full moon happening in Libra, but we also have the south node in Sagittarius, which is about the law and how of the past or currently we've dealt with justice. Is there an equality in the whole? No, there's not. Is there a balance? Is there a level playing field for all people? No, that's not worked so well. And we're really seeing that coming to the surface with the south node in Sagittarius. Um, needing a change and we have Saturn and Jupiter in Aquarius so it's wanting us to be have new ways it's wanting and it's in the square I believe that's a square let me look double check 
with this full moon. Oh, where's my aspects? Do we not have it here on this chart? I'm using free astrology um, pages right now, and I really uh, have to invest in my own software. So pardon me for that. It looks like to me that it's in the square. I don't have the aspects on here. So to me that Jupiter wanting to break free from the energy of the old ways and bringing some more harmony and justice and equality in our legal system, because Libra also represents that as well. So what else did I want to share on here? It's all about harmony and balance in our relationships. And with this new energy in Aries season again, where it's really wanting us to reflect upon our relationships, bring in inequality in our relationships. And I feel hugely on the collective, especially after everything that we've been through in 2020 or that's been revealed. I think a lot of it was already there. It was just hidden. There's more and more of us thinking about the injustices. So the overall energy that we received for this Libra full moon. Let me pause before I say this. Well, no, I was just do it. Go with it. The sun, the sun card, new day dawning. Um, I see this as well with the innocence of the little one on the horse, like a freedom and breaking free from the things that maybe have shackled you down. Um, seeing that sun illuminate where it is that you would like to rise in your life, right? Sun is vitality. It's our solar plexus. It's our... Um, it's our vitality, it's our life, it's our life force energy. And the sun just moved in to Aries with the spring equinox on the 20th. So now we have coming along this sun energy illuminating the receptive moon energy. So you could be reflecting upon, like I said, having an illumination of which relationships work for you, which ones don't, wanting to be more in harmony and balance within those relationships. I love the sun card. I don't think I've ever drawn it in this one, but it's beautiful. And also too, with the spring equinox just before it, planting the seeds for new growth, for a really allowing that sun energy high in the horizon on the Northern hemisphere to bring forth some light within you and you know, there's an innocence there with that too. And that sun is conjunct with Chiron and Venus, all about healing, all about the feminine, all about seeing the beauty and really rising up out of the ashes with this spring energy and this full moon in Libra. That's it for the overall energy. So that is our energy for the Libra full moon. And we are going to be working with the Angels and Ancestors deck now. So. Lady Justice. A balance for all. You know, for the crookeds to be made straight. And whatever cannot be made straight in your life, maybe reflecting upon the relationships that you may need to let go of. I feel that's just, that's definitely what it is. And it's going to be this huge pull, right? Because the super full moon is so close to the earth that it just really packs a big punch. Same with, you know, just being in that spring or autumn equinox, depending on which hemisphere you're in kind of like a resurrection within you and allowing for whatever needing to being receptive with that moon energy to receive whatever light codes possibly new light codes coming in something being illuminated within you that perhaps you haven't let go of and really it could be because it's a culmination full moons are about how much you've grown over the past several months 
and maybe it's really about getting back into being childlike and with the horse energy I always see that as a freedom so that could be coming up for many of you with this full moon energy we're going to share the Sabian symbol for Libra full moon super full moon <laughs> Again, happening in at 8 degrees at 2.48 p.m. on March 28th. As we're now waxing our way into that energy. Three old masters hanging in an art gallery. The key word for this Libra full moon is accord. Self-integration, this symbol speaks to a man's capacity to understand his world and the universe through his own personal experience. The image of three old masters hanging in an art gallery alludes to the three souls in Plato's scheme. The mind or the intellect, your feelings or emotions, and the habit or instinct. The three paintings hang together as a set or unified creative expression. The suggestion here is that fulfillment of all individual potential is achieved through effective self-integration or the harmonious blending and cooperative, cooperative functioning of the mind, the body, and the spirit. The master symbolizes the past of our heritage. The implication is that we are irrevocably linked to source and our roots and that by standing on the shoulders of giants who came before us we revitalize the heritage and carry it forward with our own individual accomplishments so having an appreciation with this full moon of this those that came before you even if you were born into or been around karmic relationships in the past this could really illuminate and have you reflecting upon how relationships have influenced you, how you've learned through the experience of the relationship energy, right? And how you can carry forward the things that serve you well and letting go of the things that do not serve for you. On the positive aspect of this, at its highest, this symbol represents a special gift for healing conflict and dissension and for bringing diverse people together in harmony by emphasizing mutual goals and objectives. I believe that's huge with the North Node in Gemini and there's Mars there really kind of asking us to take a little bit of action through communication in small tribes so that we can get into the leave behind the hierarchy and the domination by a few going back to our grassroots of you know grassroots built rebuilding the things from a strong foundation that have not worked in the past and there's so many things think about our educational system which is also um, ruled by Sagittarius. So between Libra and Sagittarius is about justice, law, and education. Has the education system worked for the whole? Not really. Has the law worked for the whole? Not man's law. Universal God law, yes, but not man's law. It's been so out of whack, and that's a relationship that we could be reflecting upon right now, is not being okay with the injustices, especially on the collective. As many of us are healing that Chiron wound within us on an individual level. So there's just layers, right? Okay, let me start over. At its highest, this symbol represents a special gift for healing conflict and dissension and for bringing diverse people together in harmony by emphasizing mutual goals and objectives. On the lower aspect of this, it's refusal to let go of outgrown habits and traditions or selfish insistence on having one's way, even at the expense of sacrificing the good of the whole or the best interest of the group. So don't be self-sacrificial, especially 
if it's wounding to you and wounding to others. So in other words, if you're in a relationship that's karmic, that's not good and it's not of love, you may need to stop self-sacrificing because you're not only helping, not helping yourself, you're not helping the other person by allowing it neither. So the ascent is on learning how to get along with others and solve your own problems. The opportunity, excuse me, with this full moon is your greatest advantage lies in recognizing that there can be more than one winner and being willing to share the limelight with others. So the risk is guard against trying to be a crowd pleaser or basing your decisions on an opinion of how things have always been done. Look, the way things have been being done, what we're witnessing isn't working. So... Don't just go with the crowd. Don't go with a, to, to be a people pleaser, right? That's codependency. So you could be wrong or the technique may not work in, in this particular situation. So in other words, it's asking you to be open, but to not just go with the crowd to be a people pleaser because then you're sacrificing yourself. Stepping stones, which are the learning experiences with this Sabian symbol for the Libra super full moon, is unity, affinity, capability, relationship, harmony, integration, heritage, the past, excellence, creative expression, fine arts, values, appreciation of excellence. So that is because Libra is actually one of the signs that Venus represents. And we have her ruling planet, right? The full moon is in Libra, but her planet is with the sun. That's powerful. That's magnification um, because the sun's charging that Venus energy and Venus rules Libra and it's illuminating that moon. So reflecting upon relationships, justice, balance, um, that is where our biggest lessons or blessings can be in our life is through the relationships. And with the sun being in Aries with Chiron and Venus too, I think it's a softening of that masculine energy because Venus is that goddess value, beauty, and Chiron is the wounded healer rising. So I feel this energy of courageousness for many of us. And so really think about that. We're going to do some cards now. And it's like Venus is supercharged there with the sun. She's really um, in that beauty and vitality. And what I feel is really going to be happening is, although for some it'll be a lot of reflection on the relationships personally in your life, also reflecting upon the energy of the relationship that you have with yourself. Are you willing to step away from the crowd and say, no, I don't resonate with that. And although you can have your opinion or two cents, I don't, I don't, it don't resonate with me. I don't follow that type of mindset. So really the balancing of the scales. So what else for this Libra full moon happening March 28th? So on my calendar it says it's also Palm Sunday and the storm moon. I haven't researched a whole lot about the storm moon, but that's on there. I thought I would share it with you all. You know, I gotta pull that back out. It's calling to me. Three masters hanging in an art gallery. It's about mastering yourself with the Aries, Venus, Chiron. Mastering yourself. So that you can be in harmony and in balance, not only within yourself, but the relationships, that seventh house Libra energy. And finding the beauty and the creativity 
I just, I know that air signs and fire signs are both masculine, but that Lady Luna is a feminine energy softening the masculine and the Venus energy is also softening that energy with the sun. And so three old masters hanging in an art gallery, creative energy doing something that's creative under this full moon energy because it will help you to bring forth a vitality within you. So I had to pull that back out. It was calling to me. So let's see what else we got for the Libra full moon. Super full moon. I love my Sabian symbols. They're always so very accurate. And so I share these Sabian symbols on every new moon and full moon. You can go to my channel if you're new today. I do share other content as well. And for all subscribers who share their love here with me, thank you so much for being here. Take care of your needs. We got the winter card, which we are just coming out of in the northern hemisphere. And what you could be reflecting upon as we are building and the sun is moving higher into the horizon with this spring equinox in the northern hemisphere is making sure that your needs are taken care of first and for you in the southern hemisphere you're going into winter so for me this is winter is always a season of rest and so with the northern hemisphere going into more light the southern hemisphere goes into more darkness and it's a balance of the yin and yang right dark and light i love that so what else? So make sure you take care of your needs, no matter what they are, that may be surfacing now, waxing our way into this Libra super full moon. Snake, shed old skin. Wow, wow, wow. That's letting go. There's a lot of things coming forward, guys, with us. <coughs> that sun in Chiron coming forward to be shed, to be let go of, and this could be illuminated as we are moving our way into the super full moon in Libra, where you're making sure your needs are taken care of first and shedding the skin of the old. That's cool. Let's do another one. What else for this Libra full moon? So we got two animal ones straight off the get. Winter and snake. Shed old skin so we can make new ways. So we can come into more justice and balance with this Libra energy. Where we have harmonious relationships. I know I'm finding mine. Like I'm thankful for the work that I've done within myself since 2014. To be in the position to where I am right now. So, so much gratitude. Trust in the higher forces. Woo! We got the shaman. Drumming is being called to me like no other. I just ordered one today. I'm super excited about it. So be that wise one that knows there's a higher force, that there's, there's a higher purpose to why we are here. To have an understanding that we must shed the old ways, even if from our ancestors. Perhaps we came into this lifetime with unfinished business from a past life and we haven't shed that yet with that Saturn and Jupiter conjunction that happened at the end of 2020 in December I feel like that is universal law like because it's known also as the star of Bethlehem in this Aquarian energy where it is about fairness and balance as well because the Aquarian energy is the water bearer so keep shedding whatever skin that you need to shed and make sure that you're taking care of your needs first unlike what many of us have been told that it's selfish to love yourself up it is the very opposite if you don't genuinely love yourself you will call in relationships with that Libra energy that are not healthy because whatever we 
emanate out. I used to be codependent, so I know it firsthand. That's where sharing with others the things that you've overcame through your life experience is the great wisdom and the shamanism and tapping into your ancestral patterns to whatever needs to be transmuted and making sure that you are trusting that inner wisdom that you do have within you that there is a higher force so trust that isn't he awesome and look he's got bells on each side of his antler too so there's a justice and a balance there coming through with the shaman energy as well else for this Libra full moon there's a lot of this shedding energy and so when we are doing our shadow work right it isn't always easy and that's why it's so important for taking care of your own needs emotionally physically just like the Sabian symbol mind body spirit the balance i feel like meditation is going to be super powerful not only with the energy of this full moon in libra but also just a week prior going into the solstice or i'm sorry <laughs> equinox energy right libra full moon Woo! jumping out of my hands the elder <laughs> What did I just say with this? So going hand in hand with the Sabian symbols, the elder. Move beyond ancestral patterns. Shed the things that may be not healthy, that our ancestors, you know, we just incarnate back into the same cycle again until we look to our true north, letting go of the south node energy, right? Balancing. Um... And that's really super powerful right now because that north node in Gemini with Mars is wanting us to make some action. And that south node in Sagittarius is asking us to let go of ancestral patterns. Don't be the type of person that says, I think it said it in the Sabian symbol as well, well, we've always done it this way. Well, how we've done it, it's not working. So be open to shifting and changing so that you're not carrying on a lineage that is not healthy and whole in the mind the body the spirit saturn is still in the sign of aquarius with jupiter where it is just sitting there percolating and aquarian energy is all about new and in, in innovative ways to shift and change and also to learn from the past experiences Shed that old ancestral patterns, right? Or old way of being. And take forward with you the wisdom that you have within you with the shaman. Trusting in your oversoul to communicate with you. For the divine to communicate with you. For you to be more balanced and in harmony with your mind, your body, your spirit. And allow this Libra energy to balance within you and i know for many of us we are like witnessing if you're awake the injustices that are not okay with our soul so keep that in mind as well that it is about shutting it you know be real with whatever comes up within you about relationships or law justice um and keep allowing yourself to shed and morph and just becoming the better version of yourself continuously. Let's do a planet, planet element or house. Boy, a lot of us are doing this, removing, letting go of ancestral patterns. Like, it's been rough. Some of us have walked away from our blood family and have had to find tribe and small community with that north node where you can start building a new grassroots community 
with people that are just like in in I want to I say this all the time that are like-minded but they don't have to be like-minded they just have to be from their heart and really being real and raw like drop all the facades right drop all of the mask right I want to say that where there's a more balanced and harmony in relationships and justice because look let's just talk about the monetary for a moment too because the it's sun's right there with Venus and she's about value and, and can be monetary the wealthy through the mind's eye of just money right keep getting wealthier and all these lockdowns which is a prison term and the people at the bottom in the middle just keep getting weeded out like screw that that's not just that's not the way God intended it for us to be but maybe just maybe if humans can wake up and step forward and do their healing work maybe the assistance of that Jupiter and Saturn conjunct at the end of last year can help bring forward universal law because it's almost like man needs a freaking intervention Quit waiting for some savior to come down and save us all. Pisces, I believe. Believe you can do it. Trust your intuition. Be in tune and in touch with your emotions. The one fish swimming up, the one fish swimming down. There's a thread that binds us all together as children of creator. Having a remembrance of that. And it's okay to believe, but do question your belief systems if there is something that is holding you back in a ancestral karmic pattern. Be open to shift and change that. Have a strong belief in yourself that you can do it. That's what I'm feeling coming forward. Trust in the higher forces. Bring forth the wisdom the shaman within you. I think that's it. And other than I am. So I hope you enjoyed the Sabian symbol. They're always so like the bomb. They're always so very in sync and right on. And I got to say this too. There is during this full moon energy, super full moon, there are nine planetary bodies in fire 13 in air two in earth and three in water so fire and air watch and you could probably see a rise in this too communicating with each other can get out of hand really quick i'm witnessing a lot of it online right now as uh mercury is in a square i do believe presently today as i'm coming to you on the 18th. Where is my chart for that? Yeah, Mercury and Mars. So I've been witnessing it all day today. It's like I'm getting off of technology after this video to do a lot of physical um, activities outside. When we're lacking earth and water in the chart, get out and ground, increase your water, pay attention to your surroundings and the relationships, whether it be somebody online. Because that fire and air can get out of control and you're going to see a lot of people projecting their bullshit onto you right now. So be aware of that. Not be aware. Don't. It's not like a warning. Just bring it to your attention. I am unique. I am unique. When you bring forth your authentic self, shedding the ancestral patterns letting go of karmic relationships, shedding that skin, old versions of yourself, trusting that your oversoul and that source gives you the wisdom right within your heart. Just meditate and contemplate. Be still and listen. Bring forth your unique expression. And I'll tell you what, most light workers were the black sheeps of their family. That is okay. It's okay to be unique. I, in fact applaud people who step forward in their authenticity mm -hmm. i send this to you guys with so much love meditate get out underneath of this super full moon that will be happening on the 28th feel as we are 
waxing our way into that energy, that relationships, balance, justice, harmony will most likely be coming up for you. Utilize it. Work with the energy, not against it. I send this to you guys with so much love and shalom.